Hey everybody, JJ here. You're watching Bull Boom Bear Bust. It is Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. Wanted to share some very important news. It's not good news. Um, we need to really prepare for the spike in uh, inflation that we're going to see. And we're going to talk about food today mainly. But the California farmers received some very, very devastating news. They're losing their rights to their use of water. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, they are losing their rights to their use of water. Now, they still can use some water, but they're going to have a little more hoops to jump through. We're going to talk about that. Also, grocery stores are preparing for a price surge in food. And some stores are actually stockpiling lots of food to prepare for what is coming. Now, everyone here on this channel that's been here for a while uh, knew this was coming. And you have been preparing. You've been stockpiling as much food as you can. Uh, just like I've been doing, uh, because we know this problem is nowhere near getting solved. It's actually just going to get worse. Um, there's really not any real solutions being discussed as far as fixing this problem with the rising cost of living, rising food prices, um, devastation with the farmers, and uh, supply side end um, problems and disruptions. Uh, let's look at it. first article right here. Wall Street Journal, supermarkets are stockpiling inventory as food costs rise. Grocers are setting aside large amounts of frozen meat, sugar, and other items to protect profits ahead of anticipated price increases. That's right. So even more price increases ahead, even though we've seen big, big uh, surges in food prices already, commodities, with the massive flood of money being pumped into the system right now. Even with debt at record highs, banks continuing to loan out, to uh, lend out, to loan out money that doesn't exist in digital form uh, to the population. And most of the population does not produce anything. So you're going to have more shortages. Manufacturing has really not come back to the U.S. So more supply and shortages combined with never ending demand on the consumer side because of all of the money flow. Um, excerpt out of this article, supermarkets stockpiling up on everything before they get more pricey, uh, girding for what some executives anticipate will be some of the highest price increases in recent history. Grocery sales in the U.S. rose about 15% from two years earlier. And we know that there's big, big demand at these uh, these food lines and these food handout places. I even documented a couple here on this channel. Uh, we're still seeing food lines. And when you see demand for groceries rise 15% in just two years, uh, that should be pretty shocking. And if that doesn't sound off a few alarm bells, uh, I think you might wanna pay a little bit better attention all right now let's transition a little bit let's go over to the origins of the food and that's going to be the farms and this is out of the santa cruz sentinel we're looking at it here in msn drought the end of california's groundwater free for all now technically it wasn't really a free for all um, but up until now farmers in california had use of water in the ground in the land that they own now they no longer have unlimited use. They're going to be tracked and monitored on how much water they use from their own ground because of the, the drought. So it's not a free for all, but before now, farmers did have the use of their own water as much as they wanted to without being tracked or traced. The water spigots on California farms will soon be twisted higher. Now keep in mind, folks, California, I know a lot of people just think about uh, the beaches and, and the fires and the homeless but california is the number one agricultural state in the united states we're a very big state uh tons of grapes a lot of avocados a lot of other crops here we've talked about it many times all right but more into this article this is pretty crazy it's a controversial step aimed at protecting water supplies that could change cultivation practices in the golden state under the state's new tough groundwater protection law quote we now have a legal obligation to manage our groundwater sustainably and we cannot manage the basin with such large uncertainties in our water use unquote 
So now these farmers, they're going to have to have um, gauges set up to see how much water they're using in their own land, under their own property. And we look at this picture here out of this article and you probably are saying, well, this guy doesn't look like a farmer. No, he's not the farmer. He is the meter program coordinator for the Parajo Valley Water Management Agency. So more hoops for these farmers to jump through. And guess what? It's going to be more costs for the farmers. And guess what? It's going to be even a bigger uh, problem here. And when farmers costs go up, then you're going to see food prices go up even more than they already have been in my guess, in my estimate. The new approach is a major shift since California's early rough and tumble frontier days. The ability to pump water from a private well on personal property has been an agricultural birthright. In other words, you own the land, you own the water um, in the ground in your land. If you own the land, the thinking what you owned the water under it. So while cities charge residents based on the amount of water they use, rural well owners did not need to report or measure their pumping. So they're going to have to report all this, measure their pumping, and guess what? There's going to be fines if they use too much. Um, it's going to be a, a red tape bureaucratic nightmare. And we already see over the past few years a big rise in farm bankruptcies. And with the cost of living going up, the cost of uh, energy, uh, these farmers have to use energy to cultivate their crops with the tractors. All right, so this shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Just ask yourself, do you think these new regulations and this new uh, monitor, uh, water monitoring laws, is it going to make it easier for these farmers or is it going to make it harder for these farmers? And I know some of you say, oh, it's just a, some measuring and, you know, they just have to fill out a few reports and there might be some fines, no big deal. But add that on top of everything else these farmers have to go through with the rising cost of living, all the other regulations, rules, guidelines. All right, and this is a big farm here. What about the smaller farmers? And is it the agency that's going to pay for all this equipment? Uh, something tells me, uh, no, that these farmers are going to have even a bigger, bigger, um, uh, much tougher time now going forward with all this. And a long list of things that are really causing a lot of harm to the farms. Uh, also, a lot of strawberries are grown in California as well. Okay, we told you this was coming. It's going to be nothing but harder and harder times for people, for farms, um, food costs rising, prices rising everywhere, no sign of the inflation stopping, uh, no one talking about even trying to stop the inflation. Uh, the Fed says interest rates need to remain low, banks need to remain liquefied so they can keep loaning out money. Uh, more payouts to tens of millions of people. Uh, you're going to see just the demand continue to rise drastically while the supply continues to dwindle as it becomes tougher and tougher to uh, keep a job or stay in the working class. In this case, tougher to be a farmer as well. Um, you guys let me know what you think about this. Doesn't look good. Um, I'm praying for the farms, for the farmers, for our food supply. Uh, we've got big problems, folks. Um, buckle up. And this is just getting started, but I uh, hope everybody's good. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Stay well, people. Bye.